mastery session is all about the rules of game changers. And you know, we become our standards in many ways. If you are surrounded by B players or average performers, and that is your standard, then your mindset will operate at the standard that is, that is offered to you by the people around you. I mean, we do become our social orbit. And if you are at a standard internally that I want to be a game changer in my field, I want to be BIW, the best there ever was, I want to be the Van Gogh and the Rembrandt of technology or whatever field you play in, then your behavior always matches your internal identity and your inner standards. So your standards are important, your standards for your friendships, your standards for the quality of the work you do, the standards of your languaging, the standards of the nutrition you put into your body the standards of your love life, the standards of your mindset, the standards of the way you occur in the world. And so my invitation for you, regardless of what you do, is that you raise your game to a place called world class. And that is all about being a game changer. Now, I should caution you, and I don't like that word because language is so powerful and caution is a word that really is a little dramatic. But I wanna caution you, which is as you leave the herd and the crowd and perhaps the cult of mediocrity and rise to being a game changer. It's a very disruptive act and you actually threaten the masses of people around you. And that's why every visionary was first ridiculed before they were revered. And I'm sure you've experienced it. You want to say, you say, you know, I want to take my fitness to a whole new level of world class or I want to take my craft to a whole new level of world class or maybe you're raising your game financially and then you share it with those you love or your, friend, your friends and maybe your friends are those you love and they laugh at you. And how many times have we given up on a dream because we were mocked by the people around you? And all I'm suggesting to you is when you get laughed at and ridiculed and when people don't understand your next level of world class, that just means you've got a great dream and that just means you're on the path of growth. So be a game changer. What are some tactics? Well, I'm gonna walk you through a bunch of key tactics or the rules of game changing. And the first one is really this. No idea works unless you have the courage to do the work. Ideation without execution is delusion. And so there are people who say, well, I went to a course or I went to a, I joined an online membership program or I read a book, but my life didn't change. And I want to say to them with great respect, your life could have changed, but you didn't do the work required to make the change happen. That's almost like a, an athlete saying, I want to be a gold medalist at the next Olympics, but I went to the gym for four days and I didn't get the medal. I mean, the reality is an idea is the starting point on the pro process to get you to where you want to get to. So just remember that really building something great is all about execution. When you look at a Steve Jobs or an Elon Musk or when you look at a Nelson Mandela or a Mother Teresa, when you look at a Da Vinci or a Tesla, all those people had the vision and then they outworked everyone around them to execute on the vision until the product was done. And it's not only execution, it's the grit. Remember grit from previous master, mastery sessions, which is you get knocked down, do you give up or do you continue? And any game changer has literally out persisted everyone around them. And when you get full of self-doubt, which you will do on the path to world class, do you continue? So the first idea is just remember, no idea is gonna work unless you have the courage to do the work. It's all about high levels of execution intelligence. Great leaders and game changers have a bias towards getting things done. And it's like a muscle, the more you do, the more you're gonna to wanna to do. You start building this incredible momentum. The momentum feels internal confidence. The confidence wants you to make even more gains, and it becomes this upward spiral of unbelievable execution. The second insight I want to offer to you, which is this. To have the results very few people have. To have the results of a game changer, you need to start thinking and behaving like a game changer. And that means thinking like a game changer, populating your mindset with the best books, with the best ideas, with the best conversations, behaving in ways that most people don't behave. Again, you wanna have the results very few people have, you've gotta start doing things that very few people do. Turn off the television, 
delete the naysayers. Stop gossiping and start producing. Eat better food. Run longer runs. Shift from a focus on what's not working to a focus on what's working. I mean, you really want to install a whole new series of mindsets and a whole new series of rituals that very few people are doing. Third idea I want to offer to you, which is this. If you want to be a game changer, here's the rule number three. To, you will receive from the world who you become. The world is so obsessed with goals. The world is so obsessed with externals. But the doorway to success, I suggest to you, swings inward, not outward. And the best way to have a game-changing life, and the best way to have a world-class lifestyle, and the best way to change the world is to change yourself. I mean, we get from life who we become. I was having a conversation with my mom last night and we were talking about goals and setting big dreams and what I offered to her was, you know, it's great to have external success but the real value of external success is who you had to become as a person and what you had to build in terms of your character and the capacities and the talents you had to polish to get the external success. I mean, that's the real value of success. You build, let's say, a great business or a great family life. That's awesome. But who did you have to become? What did you have to overcome? What talents did you have to learn in order to get to world class? That's the real value. And even if you learn the, lose the external success, you get to keep the internal gold for the rest of your life. And so I just invite you to play with the idea which is you receive from life who you are. And the single best move to be a game changer is to work on your character, work on your emotional architecture, work on your mindset, work on your spiritual life. And then you become this force of nature that becomes invincible. And you become this force of nature that radiates this, this enthusiasm and this inspiration and this self-belief that really brings everyone around you into your dream. And that's why a John F. Kennedy and that's why a Martin Luther King Jr., they didn't really execute on the dream. They executed on their internal power so that the people around them felt the dream and did the work. And that's really what leadership is all about. I mean, I hope you really think about what I just offered to you. The fourth rule of game changers. An addiction to distraction is the death of creative production. The more you can be distracted or you can be a game changer, you just can't be both. And if you look around and you witness how most people are behaving, they are so distracted. When they're driving, I mean just watch people driving these days. They're driving and they're like this or they really are still even though there's a lot of laws in a lot of countries that don't allow people to do it, they're still texting and checking because they're addicted to their distraction. You see people in conversations and they're looking at you and then they're looking at their, at their technology. I've never seen so many people make mistakes. You're at a hotel and you offer your order and it comes back and the order is wrong. Why? People are addicted to distraction and they have lost their focus. And what I'm suggesting to you is if you really want to be a game changer, focus on your vital few. Focus on the few projects at work that will move the needle. Focus on the few activities in your personal life that will allow you to live an iconic personal life. I mean, become a minimalist. Every game changer is monomaniacally focused on just a few things. Number five, if you want to be a game changer, here's the fifth rule. The thing that you're most afraid to do is the thing that is most valuable to do. I'm gonna repeat that again because it's so fundamentally important for you to become a game changer. The thing that you are most frightened to do is the thing that is most valuable to do. Your, your fears are nothing more than growth in, in wolf's clothing. And I really want you to wrap your brain around this idea, which is your progress leaves lives where your greatest fears lie. The things that terrify you walk towards those. And the more you do it, the more you build confidence. The more you actually stand in the fire of your greatest fears, the more you actually find freedom. 
And I know when you do that, it's counterintuitive. And being a game changer is counterintuitive. And I do it in my own life. Like, I, I cannot tell you how frequently I do the thing that terrifies me. And yes, a lot of my days, I'm in discomfort. A lot of my days, I must confess to you, I'm confused or I'm feeling afraid. And it's messy because being a game changer is a messy process. But the payoff is simply this. I grow almost every single day. I become braver every single day. I mean, standing, going to where, going to the places that frighten you is your bravery training. And the more you do it, the stronger you become, the more free you become. And literally every single thing that you're afraid of, you've given your power to. And every time you stand in the fireplace of your fears, you take back your freedom. And that's a pretty awesome way to live, isn't it? Even though it's messy, even though it feels hard, even though sometimes you're confused. Sixth rule of a game changer. Education is inoculation against disruption. If you really want to be a game changer, you need to be in the rooms that game changers play in. You need to go to the conferences every single quarter. Read the books that game changers read. Invest in the programs because education truly is inoculation against disruption. I mean, look at the world, politically, economically, uh, uh, the environment. Look at business right now. We have never been in such a state of acute disruption. And guess what? It's only going to get messier. For the victim, the coming decades will be messy and terrifying. For the game changer, the coming decades will be inspiring and very enlightening. And really, if you really want to be a game changer, invest in your learning. The person who learns the most wins. The person who understands the most can see around corners. And so you want to invest in knowing more than anyone who does what you do in the history of what you do. You want to be able to start seeing around corners because of your level of information and your knowledge. And then the final idea I want to offer to you to be a game changer, the, the seventh rule is simply this. The Seduction of safety is always more dangerous than the illusion of uncertainty. You see, the world around us sells us this bill of goods to cling to the known, to live within the comfort zone, to never stray out of your community of, of safety. Right? So don't read different books. Don't have different conversations. Don't reach too high in your job. Don't have new conversations with the interesting people that you've always wanted to meet. Don't set new goals, et cetera, et cetera. Live within your circle of understanding and safety. And to me, that's a recipe for aging. That's a recipe for an early death. A lot of people die at 20 and they're buried at 90. Do not let that happen to you. I pray that never happens to you. And what I'm suggesting to you is the seduction of safety is really more dangerous than the discomfort you will feel when, when you venture out into the blue ocean of the unknown. And really, if you want to be a game changer, it is about living in the blue ocean of the unknown, playing with new ideas, stretching your internal capabilities. I think it was C.S. Lewis who simply said this, the best way to expand your limits is to go to the edge of your limits. So if you're a runner or you're a skier, I'm a skier. The best way to grow is to go to my limits and ski the most difficult runs. And so when I go to Bereloche in Argentina and I'm at the top of this mountain in Patagonia, I am scared and frightened and terrified and my hands are shaking and my legs are shaking, but I'm growing when I'm skiing down that run because I am pushing my capacities and my internal limits to the very edge of external limits. And that is how you become a game changer. And that is my greatest wish for you. Hi, it's Robin. I invite you to subscribe to this podcast and definitely go over to robinsharma.com for more information, tools, and resources on mastery, elite performance, and living a world-class life.